men's rights, what comes to mind? Aggression. She hears men's rights and immediately goes to aggression. You see what the, can you really see what the problem here is? Yeah. Before we've even gotten into it. Well, mm. 58 seconds into the video and already someone stuck their I foot I knew in that was going to trigger you. I knew it. The minute you say men's rights, the minute you say, you know, masculinity, immediately it's a bad thing. But that's all, I find that all strange, me personally. Like, if somebody said to me men's rights, aggression would not be the first thing that comes to mind. Yeah, that's such a bizarre thing to say. What's yeah. that got to do with rights? But I feel like feminists are quite anti-men. I don't know why it was supposed to live in harmony, right? Mm. We need each other. Hi, I'm uh, Derek. I'm, uh, I also go by Brandio. I'm a YouTuber. Can I just say something before this goes on? I know who that guy is in the yellow. He's the incel guy, right? If you don't know what an incel is, they're involuntarily celibate, right? They've already got this, this warped perception of women and they've brought this guy on to talk about men's rights. This is not a good representative okay. to talk about men's rights. I wanted to ask you a question. So you know you have a feminist. What is a men's rights? What are these people? They're, they're people that fight for the rights of men. So there's certain areas of society where men are potentially unfairly treated or underrepresented. But then maybe that's say. how fem feminists feel as well. So it's basically just a, a, a feminist male version. Yeah, I think feminism has its place in the world. I think that the way it's the way things have been going recently is probably not the most productive way to for for change. Mm. I I don't I don't think feminism is a concept that should be completely ab abolished or forgotten about. Mm. It's just the way it's being applied in more recent times isn't the most productive way to go about getting the things that you think you want. I was just gonna say, so this guy in the yellow, then is he proper like he does not like women at all? Yeah, this is the the guy in the yellow is in another video where he openly admits to being an incel incels for those of you i don't know as i said they're involuntarily celibate so they they can't get women they struggle to get they really struggle to get uh, women. i'm with and you now a lot of them like they'll they'll go on to like forums and they'll sit there and they'll bash women and they'll talk about all the things that are wrong with women without identifying the issues with themselves i mean look at him for one for, i mean i'm just gonna say it he needs to go to the gym to begin with and the gym is not just about you know your body it's also it's also uh something to heal your mind so that's just just one thing off the bat just looking at him the problem with incels is that they don't they don't do any inner reflection. They think they're nice guys and they think women owe them something. Mm, mm. And then they take their aggression out on women. Okay. And these morons at Jubilee got an incel on to talk about men's rights. This guy's perception of the world is already warped. I want to show you something just before we continue on, right? Because I received this message before. I had something up that said, I bet you can't make me laugh. And then he sent me a message and he was like, you're probably right. Probably because you're so attractive, everyone sucks up to you that you don't have a good sense of reality anymore <laughs> and this is what he looked like yeah well obviously he's not had <laughs> not had a lot of luck with women like you shouldn't make assumptions of people when you when you see them don't judge a book by its cover this is my biggest uh issue yeah so mm. yeah that i mean that that is but that he's is giving me that vibe that's <laughs> incel behavior <laughs> at least uh, i'm not saying that guy's an insult that he just showed me um. but that is that's a telltale sign that maybe he's going down the wrong road. Yeah. Step forward if this statement is true for you. I believe men and women are different but equal. I feel like the girl in the grade walked over because the other girls walked over. Like she, <laughs> she saw them walk over. And she said, "Damn, I'm not, I'm not living up to." Yeah, my she was far name. behind. Yeah, she skipped over. They went marching though. <laughs> I know as a woman that I don't have the same physical strengths. Men and women are built differently. I think whenever things are built differently, it's for a reason, right? But at the same time, the amount of uh, limits that have been put on women historically, like the fact that not too long ago we were just allowed to like start voting. Even today, like the wage gap, just all types of stuff, like women just don't have a lot of rights that are just, it should have nothing to do with. What wage gap? What are you talking about? Define what you mean when you say wage gap. Because I'm pretty sure she's talking the same nonsense Obama was talking, where men and women earn different amounts for the same job, which is not something that happens in the west not in america and not in the uk companies do not do that if you apply for a job and it says twenty-five thousand pounds on the salary and i apply for it 
I'm not going to get 27 because I'm a man. We can go one step further because I know white men get demonized. The white man is not going to get 28,000. We're all going to get the same amount. There is no such thing as this pay gap, as they say. There is a pay gap because of the types of jobs that we decide to do. But that's not because you walked into a job as a woman and I walked in as a man. Mm. Would you agree? I 100% agree. As far as not being equal, I don't think that that necessarily means inferior or superior. When it comes to certain things like roles like childbearing, a woman is going to be far more productive and a lot more nurturing than say a man. And when it comes to doing a lot more of the heavy lifting and the work, a man is probably going to be more suited for that role. And I don't think that that makes them any better or worse. We are just built, created, and born different. He's, he's not wrong. I agree with everything he just said. Yeah, he's not wrong. That doesn't, Down to that a doesn't make me better than you because I can pick up that bookcase. Yeah. You know, that's, I mean, I can pick up the bookcase as well. I'm just saying, <laughs> just, just as an example. <laughs> but it doesn't make me better than you because like, I might, I'm physically stronger. You're, yeah. You'd probably be better at nurturing a child. Than yeah, I be. and I do think that it should stay that way. That's me personally, though. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. He did, what he said wasn't wrong. No. I want to note that you brought up children being unequal to adults. I just hope you weren't comparing women to children. Maybe he was, but I didn't think he was. I think she's no, looking for a fight. Yeah, it's... Oh. Let's, let's uh, like maybe, maybe he was. Let's hear what he has to say first. But I think that she's jumped to a conclusion to start a fight. She has, but I just feel like they've always got something to say. But I feel like... I could not personally have a conversation with someone of that sort of mindset because people like that do not want to sit and actually listen to what you have to say. They're just listening to respond. They're not trying to understand and they're just very tunnel vision. Just they're only seeing their point of view. Yeah, I think his point was that children are not equal to us, like grown men and women. Yeah. And he's just trying to like make the distinction. He's trying to draw a line saying that people yeah. are not equal inherently. But, but I think everyone would normally understand that. Sorry to cut you off. No, no that's fine. Like, th I think she's trying to pick a fight because I don't think he was saying women are on the same level as children. No. I think he was just saying that age groups and sex and all these things make it so that we're all different. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. they've said, I'm pretty sure they said, that we're equal in the eyes of the law, as we should be. But in terms of other things, we're, we're just not equal. Yeah, it's like saying a dog and a cat are both different, but they're yeah. both animals. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think I would wait. I don't think I get what you mean. Would you mean that because they're both animals, they should be treated the same? No, it's just the concept of his, his example that he's given. Kids are not the same as grown adults, and men and women are different. But we're all human. Dogs, and, we... dogs and cats are both animals, but they're yeah. different. Yeah, uh, yeah I, get I don't you. know. Maybe it's a shit example. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> I mean, I, it was technically a comparison of okay. women and children. I don't I need you to protect me. I just need you not to harm me. I can protect myself. I am very capable of doing what I need to do. Okay? Yeah. Uh, okay, sure. 100%. No wonder why he's in cell. No, I mean... I would be as well. Do you know what I mean? Her response is so stupid and narrow-minded. Listen, I know, I know women today don't like hearing it, but you 100% need men around to protect you. And I'll tell you why. Me, for example, I'm not going to break into your house and take your shit. But if you were living on your own, for example, and you had no mm. security, I could break into your house and take your shit. But instead, I'm going to be the guy in the house that's going to help you protect the house when they break in to take your shit. You ain't going to do nothing if a grown man walks in to beat you up, have his way with you, and take your things. What What is she getting at where she's like, I don't need you to protect me, but please just don't harm me? She's, she's saying that I don't need you around to to help me basically you don't need to do anything for me just don't don't cause me any harm so she's basically saying as long as you don't bring trouble into my life i'm going to be good which is something i hear a lot of people saying which is just not true it's not true for me and it's not true for it's especially not true for women like you know my friends all of my friends are pretty tough the people that i hang around with they're pretty tough i would never turn around to them and say that i don't need them because mm -hmm. again if i'm i've been i've been at home when people have broken in and luckily my boys have been there Mm. and shit's gone down so for a woman to say oh i don't need you just don't harm me you need to drop that mindset men and yeah. women need each other we need each other this mm -hmm. the planet will not be able to sustain no. itself if we do not work together this life has definitely changed that like women have moved into roles that uh, men traditionally dominated before that's all well and good but the idea that women don't need men anymore is a stupid and um, it's a it's a redundant idea toxic masculinity 
masculinity is real. I'm in a bookstore and a guy who tries to get my number says, why y'all always gotta act like that? And he sincerely had this like cracking voice, like he was hurt, but it was an entitlement. And that's toxic masculinity. That's nonsense. I have had women approach me before and have acted in a very entitled way when I don't give my number over. It literally happened to me about a week ago, or two weeks ago. A girl approached me, I didn't want to give my number over, and so she told her friends. And I had to hide because there was a bunch of guys that were gonna do God knows what to me. The entitlement thing goes both ways. That's not a, an yeah, exclusive- Yeah, it definitely goes both ways. Yeah, yeah. That's th and girls can't deal with rejection. I don't know what the hell this girl's talking about. So what, is that toxic femininity or is that just people being assholes? Mm. Is that a masculine thing that, so I can't deal with rejection. So that's a, when I lose my temper, that's toxic masculinity. Does that not just mean that I've, I've behaved poorly? And that also means that you can do it as well. I think that, you know, when you're showing your emotions, especially to like, you know, random people, um, random women in some cases, they will view you as weak. I was raised by a single mother, I love her. She's, you know, she's my mom, I love her. But I could have used being told to, to act like a man. I think back, there were some cases where I was too emotional and that negatively affected how I, uh, you know, what happened to me. And May I ask a question? Sure. What is your definition of weak as a man? Um, not being as forward as you could be, not being as, uh, um, honest or, you know, trying to be not as emotional as you don't need to be. You know, you don't have to cry over a cut. I know, you know, sometimes cuts hurt a lot, but sometimes it's necessary to be strong for the benefit of not just yourself, but for the people around you, you know. It's fine to, to act emotional in certain cases, but I don't think... Sorry, but the incel's right. You have to tell young boys there's a time where you got to act like a man. You have to suck it up. You have to have a backbone. It's a, it's there, there are definitely times where you got to let your like let, let the tears like flow. Pretend like people are going around saying it's not okay to cry. And I don't think anyone really says that, but there's a time and place. Mm. Men have to be strong. You have to learn to be strong. The world is a harsh place. I do believe that women can women can raise men. Of course, like my mom raised me, so but yeah. I, I definitely think that it, other strong men need to tell young boys how to behave like men and behave like men when you say that people immediately think that's a bad thing being a like traditional masculine man is not inherently a bad thing i don't really understand this whole notion where masculinity is viewed as a bad thing and we have to mm. be more feminine with ourselves yeah i don't get it and and the, and the insult is completely right in what he just said if you show your emotions to a random woman even your friends they do view you as less you reserve that shit for very, very specific people. Do you think they get viewed as less? 100%. You're measured on what you can bring to the table, mm. right? And competent men do not waste time with, like, crying over their shortcomings. They identify what went wrong and what they can do better. And women appreciate that, right? Mm. They appreciate someone that can go out there and get the job done. I, I, know, um, I know plenty of good women that are with men that have failed, but because those men show the capacity to improve and they want to go out there and do something about it rather than sitting there and licking their wounds they'll stay with those men if they were sitting there crying all the time every time something went wrong crying to the girl over and over again she's going to get sick of it would you not get sick of that yeah you want your man to go out there and get shit done handle your business th but then I, I agree with that but then I also think it does go both ways with with women as well like if if your girl was constantly crying and whinging and moaning and being negative all the time it will drain anyone it does drain people but men are much more tolerant of that we expect that of women yeah but not all the time no, not all the time it can get exhausting 100 mm, mm. but i i expect a woman to be more emotional about certain things or, or like you know if something goes wrong i expect them to maybe not not handle it in the same way i would and i've been told that before that when mm. when things go wrong when, when I've been in situations where they've gone wrong, I haven't sat there and cried. Even if I felt really badly about it, I've been like, what, what do I need to do now to fix this? And it's that simple. There's, there's, no, there's not time for crying, especially when you're on the ground. You just got to keep moving forward. And women do appreciate that. So this, this incel guy is completely right. Mm -hmm. I would tell young men out there, do not 
open up to women don't do it it's a bad idea you will get viewed as less unless she is unless it's a very specific person probably your mum or the woman that you're going to marry outside of that talk to your boys have conversations with your boys and people that you trust do not open up to women they will view you as less i guarantee you i don't know if i can 100 percent agree with that because you just but then that's not a woman viewing them as less that's just maybe that person coming across as quite weak yeah but if you view someone as weak then, then I, I don't view someone as weak as less. That's really? my point, yeah. How, how, how does that work? Because just because somebody's like more emotional and more sensitive, it doesn't make them less. Being sensitive doesn't make you less, but being fragile does. I don't know. I don't yeah, think If you're so. fragile to the world, the world will scoop you up. What is your definition with the word less right now? That I'm trying to... Because I take less very negatively. It is a negative thing. Yeah, yeah but I take it as you're looking at them as less of a human being, like just not good enough. No, not 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 less of a human being, like as in like I should uh, dehumanize them, but in the sense that you would not call on that person if you needed to get something done. If you had a friend that was extremely emotional, right? He couldn't really handle himself in frantic situations. Or he didn't know how to deal with himself in like more practical situations. And if someone broke into your house, are you going to call the friend that is a traditionally masculine that handles his business? Or are you going to call the crybaby? Yeah, I completely get what you're saying. Like, I understand it. And I understand your point behind it. But just, I'm really like hanging on to this word less right now. And I can't agree that just because that person might not be capable of doing what that person's doing, it doesn't make them less. It doesn't make them less in terms of their humanity. But in terms of their practicality and what they're going to bring to the table, one's going to be better than the other. Yeah. So if we don't use the in word less... In certain situations. In certain situations, yeah. Mm. But if we if we don't, we can use a different word. It doesn't have to be less, but mm. essentially what I'm saying is that you're not going to turn to that guy. You're going to turn to the one that gets shit done. Yeah, but then it's like, if I needed a, like my roof done, I'm not going to go to an electrician, I'm going to go to a roofer. Okay, you go to two roofers. Would you go to the roofer when, when one of them makes a mistake? He gets very emotional about it. And so he becomes no. erratic. Or you're going to go to the one that's like, right, I made no. a mistake. I need to fix this. That's not the point I'm getting at. The point I'm getting at is you're going to the person who's more capable of doing what needs to be done. Yeah, the more capable person is the one that can keep themselves in check. Yeah. It's the person mm -hmm. that's stronger emotionally. I don't think showing emotions is a sign of weakness. I actually think it's a sign of strength. Men do live shorter lives, and that's because of a repression of emotions. Yes. And that's due to stress. many things that patriarchy has repression instilled. Of emotions. That's, that's not that's that's a very blanket statement to make we don't just live shorter lives because we repress our emotions maybe she's got more to say but i feel like that was really dumb i want to see what he's gonna say probably something smart something very smart mm -hmm. i just know it to many things that patriarchy has repression instilled of emotions. Oh, <laughs> You know, when you ask people what the patriarchy is, they don't actually know. People just throw that word around. Mm. They throw it around like crazy. They have no idea what it means. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to let her see if she, if she explains it before I jump the gun. That a person's well-being, uh, their lifespan is shortened when they are not able to express their emotions. In addition, when they don't have physical touch mm -hmm. or when they don't have a partner to keep them company. We are human beings here. We need to talk to each other. And if you think that our health isn't affected when you're not able to express that you are sad or upset, you're wrong. I think that men's rights activists are only men's rights activists as a response to women expressing that they want more equality. I don't think they focus on actual men's rights issues and rather it's just an attack on women and feminism. So there was no fervor. And she also didn't, exp so what are men's issues? She didn't bother to explain it. She's saying that men's rights activists are just men's rights activists to stand against feminism, but then didn't explain when she said that they're not, they're not advocating for actual men's rights, they're just doing it to stand against feminism. So she's implying that there are rights that need to be defended for men and didn't explain anything. Yeah, this. I, but I feel like this is what people do when they haven't got an actual point or explanation to back up what they're saying they're just saying something for the sake of saying it yeah. and there's yeah there's there's nothing that can follow behind that people love throwing around the word patriarch as well they they love throwing it around and they have no clue what it is no idea whatsoever and i'm assuming this girl has no idea either Today, women have more advantages than men what 
women in like the most important parts of uh, society have an advantage. There's a lot of positions that men simply aren't getting hired at anymore because of you know, the fact that they're a man. And um, it's not just in, 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 in the workforce, it's also, I would say, you know, it's a lot easier for a woman to, to find a relationship, even if she you know, says it's all, it's, um, finding a, the right guy is so hard, it really isn't. But uh, find, sometimes for a lot of guys, finding a girl at all is hard. I completely disagree here. Why? That's essentially saying that women are just getting everything these days and men aren't. That's no. practically what he's saying. No, he's like, saying he's saying for because of affirmative action, which basically means that a lot of the time these companies they will they will have a criteria on what they need to meet to meet their diversity quota, and they'll be like, right, we need to hire, we have to hire ten women, let's say. Now the problem with these things is that if you have a bunch of people coming, but you have to meet this quota, you're going to hire people that might not necessarily be fit for the job. If you have to hire ten women and you have a pool of a certain amount of people, ten men and ten women, you're going to hire all ten women, even if they're not appropriate for the job just on the basis that they're women now i don't know if that is what is actually happening i've never heard of that before they will they have to fit a diversity quota so they want to hire a black person an asian person a trans person yeah a female and the problem with that is it's under the guise that you're giving opportunities to people that are underrepresented in the workplace. The problem is, is that if that person is not fit for the job, you've only rep you've only hired them because of what they represent. We just want men to realize that if you have friends that are having locker room talk, as a man, as an ally, please say something to your friends. Mm -hmm. Do you think repressing that is really the solution here, though? If it's in a healthy male space, I don't think that's healthy. That. I think it's toxic no, not, in itself. I, I mean, if you're making, I mean, there's nothing healthy about it. What? What is this woman on about? Look, there's bad guys and there's bad women, and there's a there are groups of bad men that say things that they shouldn't be saying in mm. private. But locker room talk and you know just guys being guys shooting the shit. If they're normal everyday guys, it's not going to lead anywhere. It's just them talking nonsense. This mm. is another stupid talking point that you hear a lot of people putting across. If you know somebody that is uh, engaging in locker room talk, please be an ally. I don't even know if she knows what she's talking about. She's under the impression that locker room talk is always, always about, I don't know, assaulting women or something or degrading women's mm, bodies. Yeah. And that's a misconception that a lot of women have. Look, men, men do sit around talking about sex a lot with their boys, especially when they're younger. But that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to do anything bad. And no, I know. Not, yeah. It's not inherently a bad thing either. If you say something crazy and you hear your friend, if, if you hear your friend say something crazy, then obviously say, bro, that's a bit mad. But if you're just shooting the shit with your boys. There's nothing wrong with that. But a yeah. lot of people are under the impression that locker room talk is inherently a bad thing. And it's not. Mm. There's some people, women do it as well. I've been in a female group chat. Mm. I see exactly what goes on. Mm. And you're smiling because you know exactly what I'm talking about. Not my group chats. Not maybe not your group chats, but you know, you know what girls to are like. To be honest with you, no. No, you do. No. Don't lie. When girls have their own little locker room talk. I've seen it. I've Actually, seen you it. Know, yeah, maybe, but I think that's just everyone. That's what I'm saying. It's not separated. That everyone just. Yeah, and this whole thing about be an ally. What what exactly do you want me to do? The kind of person that would hurt a woman, that would assault a woman on the street, I am not going to be able to get through to them. Mm -hmm. They're already too far gone. Mm -hmm. Of course, I can say something, but I guarantee you, my words ain't going anywhere. Yeah. And I don't have friends like that. People that generally don't behave like that, don't hang around with people that behave like that. People mm. that behave like that generally hang around with people that behave like that, right? Or they or at least exhibit some tendencies to do those nasty things to women. Mm. So when they say that, the best that I can do is if I know somebody is going to go and assault a woman, I'll call the police. But this whole be an ally and talk about shit in your group chat, the men that are not doing this don't have friends like that. And so the problem is, is that the bad men that are doing this have friends like that and they're not going to talk to them. So this, I get it. This, this, this idea is stupid that all locker room talk is mm. bad. Not, I mean, if you're making jokes and you're doing all of that. Jokes that are harmful jokes are not healthy because they just lead to people normalizing things. People always say, oh, it's just a joke. But when someone else hears it, they don't realize how that resonates and again, how that turns into violence. Words are not violence. Let me say that again for those in the back. Words are not violence. If I call you by some sort of curse word, that is not violence. It might be mean, but it's not violence. Mm. I could stand here, Sabi, and cuss you for hours. No violence would have happened. No. All that would have happened is I would have hurt your feelings. Yes, yeah, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Yeah, Words are not violence. Okay, People need to stop saying that. It's not 
a thing. Mm. And making jokes with your friends does not inherently lead to violence. Words are not violence. Mm. Not going to tell you motherfuckers again. <laughs> so annoying. Well, it's not obvious to something that I have personal experience with, but only 1% of all people on the death row are women in this country. So when women and men commit identical crimes, women are much more likely to, for example, escape the death penalty. And that's just plain sex-based discrimination. That I agree on. This guy came with the facts. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Yeah, uh, like I knew that, but it's, I'm glad that he brought it up. I wouldn't have thought to bring, to bring it up in this conversation, but it's true. Men and women commit the same crimes, and women get much less harsh sentences than men. If we commit the same crime, you're more likely to get less time than me. On the basis that you are a woman. I need to research this. Yeah, you look into it. The mm -hmm. death penalty itself. Like Men are far more likely to get the death penalty for the same crime that a woman commits. Women will more than likely... I'm not saying they won't get the death penalty. There have been women that have gotten the death penalty before. But if you have... A man or woman that commit a crime, the man is more than likely the one that's going to go down. And at some point, she will get to walk free. And that is sex-based discrimination. I really can't comment on this because I, I need to check it out. I think in my heart that there are things that men are entitled to. I am all about human rights. And I try to consider, I do consider the rights of every human. But um, every time I hear of a men's rights activist, I hear anger and I hear very illogical reasoning and um it just boils my blood because it's a setback for all of us she just had a conversation with these guys all of them were perfectly normal i didn't hear any anger in their mm -hmm. voice mm -hmm. they all let them talk they let the women talk they let them get their points across and they refuted them what where was the anger yeah you just don't like the fact that there are men out there that are willing to stand up and say, hey, there are certain things that we need to fight for. This is the thing as well. I, I, don't, I couldn't say I've come across any men that have got anger or aggressive when discussing anything personally in my life. So yeah. for me, it's, I don't know where she keeps talking about this from. It's like she makes out like all men are like that. And it's like... But that's, that's the thing. There's an attack on masculinity right now. Mm. It's even saying masculinity is... is uh, it's, they, they just attack you on it, which is funny because when it's the other way around and women behave in masculine ways, they don't say anything. There's a film coming out right now called The Woman King. That doesn't make sense. That's an oxymoron. There's nothing wrong with calling it The Warrior Queen. What's yeah. wrong with that? Why is it when men are traditionally masculine... And we do traditionally masculine things. It's seen as a bad thing. But then you promote women to behave in traditionally masculine ways. Mm. Throwing spears, benching 500 pounds and attacking Europeans in a, in a war. That mm. would be something that we would have classed as toxic masculinity. But when we see women doing it on the big screen, what, we applaud it? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I'm not even saying the film shouldn't have been made. The film looks like it's been made very well. But to call it the woman king doesn't make sense. Women can't be kings. Men can't be queens. There's nothing wrong with being a warrior maybe queen. Maybe there's a concept behind it. No, there's not. It's just nonsense. <laughs> That's <laughs> what it is. It's nonsense. There's, what those women did was not nonsense because mm. it's based on a true story. But calling her a king doesn't make any sense. Like, even in, in the latest Thor film, they call Valkyrie King Valkyrie. Valkyrie's a woman. There's nothing... Mm. There's nothing less about being Queen Valkyrie. By calling women kings, you're saying that queens are less. Otherwise, why would you be doing it? Yeah. It makes yes, no yes, sense whatsoever. I agree. You're mm. devaluing something that belongs to you, mm. that none of us look down on. Yeah. It makes no sense. The things that stand valid, like that I'm hearing from y'all that are like valid to me, come from a place of like, I am treated like unfairly by the system versus a lot of the things women are saying. It's also America in the system as well, but a lot of it is like harm from men. How and where? W how and where what? Where's this harm from men coming from? Okay, it started when I was young. I'm not gonna talk too long. I was 16, got a bottle thrown at me because I told a boy no. It started when I was in a club, a boy touched me. I said no, he kept touching me. It got to the point he got violent. It gets to the point that the only reason why a man decided to stop touching me in the bookstore I talked about earlier is because he realized my husband was not too far away. And he said, sorry, bro, never said sorry to me. That's why, and that's off the top of my head. This is why I get upset because I'm like, I'm here to talk about like, how you feel, but when you just dismiss the fact that women actually have experiences, that's when it seems like it's about more than your rights. It seems like it's about your ego. At and no, that's where I get pissed off. Because no how point, dare you tell another human being that their experiences, what they're telling you right in front of your face, is not valid. I didn't say they were invalid. I said how and why. I'm trying to understand. How and why? And because it happened. It happened how? many times. It happened yesterday. It happened the day before. 
See what I'm saying? That's just going back to what I was originally saying. It's hard to have conversations with people that just get too irate like that. And yeah. he's just calm. He's like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm not against you right now. I, I'm trying to understand what yeah. you're getting at. And correct, he only asked her how and why. And then she started going off on one like, you know, how dare you, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, it's, it's, and she it's was like, the aggressor there. Yeah, the only people that have shown any aggression or hostility here are the women. The men have shown no hostility whatsoever. This guy simply asked how and when. Because mm. he wants to understand. He asked her calmly. He didn't point at her. He didn't say it aggressively. And yet somehow she took it that way. It's mm. hard for me to believe that these women don't hate men with the way they're behaving. Because these men have been polite. Though. Is she? Is she married? Well, the story sounded quite... Um, what's the correct word here? The story just sounded legit to me anyway. I mean, I don't, I don't believe anyone, so... That's not her specifically. I get that. I get like that a lot. But when you see the way life is on the outside and you hear a certain story, you're like, you know what? That adds up. It makes sense. Yeah. Her story doesn't add up. It like, has barely example, any context to it. Like, I'm not saying she's lying, but she hasn't really given me anything to go off. No. But for example, the situation she was explaining where her husband was there and then the guy goes, sorry, bro, to the husband and not to her. Yeah. That's facts. A well, guy would know. more so be like, sorry, bro, to, to the guy rather than apologising to the girl for what he's just done to yeah, her. Yeah, that's a bad person. But there are women that behave like that as well. They'll know you've got, they know, they know you've got a girl at home and they'll still try to stick it on you, right? We all know, we know women like that. Mm. It's, it's the, my problem with this is that they're calling it toxic masculinity. These are just people that weren't raised right. Mm. It's not specifically masculine. It's not masculine to behave like that to a woman anyway. What kind of man throws a bottle at a woman's head? I think some of the things that you guys are touching on, such as the court system and um, gender roles, are a subject of patriarchy. And that's no, part of that's... what women are trying to dismantle, is those traditional gender roles. Are there any feminist specific? organizations that have done anything, for example, to challenge bias against men and fathers in yes, the family court system? absolutely. Can you please like, give me like a list of feminist advocacy organizations? Look, that have engaged in any meaningful advocacy to address those issues because there are actually none. Okay, I know that you came with your little research or whatever. I didn't come with a list of like feminist organizations, but I know actively that there are women's organizations that are trying to dismantle those inequalities. Just one, just one name, just one Again, I didn't come with a list. Man. You can't mm. say that you definitely know there are and you can't even give one example. Not one. How can you be well-versed in the subject matter and not give one example? Mm. Mm. This guy stuck it on her, whatever mm. his name is, Kubra. We're just going to call him that. And she had nothing to say. Nothing. She's trying to embarrass him. She's, like, she's talking to him like he's a dickhead. Yeah, my dude. You, ca you came to a debate. Pulling, and she's like, you, you know, I know you came with your little research or whatever. And it's like... That's what you do in debates. You come prepared. He's educated himself. You just came to throw buzzwords mm. around. Mm. To talk shit. Mm. He's actually educated on the subject. Mm. And if he wasn't, we wouldn't know because your ass didn't bother doing any research to refute him. Mm. So he can say what he wants now. You've made yourself look stupid. It's very, yeah, she you hung, hung herself. Off. Yeah. In what ways are men's rights at risk? I think there has been significant progress over the last decade or so, especially in the legal field. But I think there are still significant disparities that need to be addressed, such as uh, poor health conditions, uh, bias against men in the criminal justice system, bias against men in family courts, and uh, bias against men in the educational system, especially in colleges. I do feel empathy for your personal experience, but I cannot sympathize with your ideological position because that ideological position is built on a fallacy. And that fallacy is actually costing, like very, that's causing very real consequences for men as a class in this country. So I understand that you are here with us as kind of the good feminist, so to speak, that you feel empathy for men. And I believe you, but I do not believe your movement and I do not believe your ideology. Kubrat came with the facts. I think that um, within this whole video, I think that the men did conduct themselves really well. Um, they knew how to have a conversation. They came with research. They came with like being calm. They came with trying to understand the other point. Whereas I feel like the women just wanted to just argue and get their point across. And I feel like their points are not always valid as well. Yeah. That's my take on it. Yeah, the guy came with data that he had researched and she belittled him for knowing what he was talking mm -hmm, about mm -hmm, so the mm -hmm. problem is is that if we're going to be 
allies and if we're going to work together you need to be willing to hear the other side not just listen to the things that you want to listen to Mm -hmm. it's okay to say that there are things that affect men more for example in the education system boys are much more likely to fail in school than girls but also as well just in life in general everyone has different opinions and you can't really be nasty to someone because of their own personal opinion it's not okay to tell men that they're traditionally masculine way of living is toxic inherently there Mm. are bad people that exist in the world and some are male but that doesn't if you don't attribute toxicity directly to masculinity that's a stupid idea and it's a slippery slope 